Welcome to Life's a Gem. I think it's time to get up for day number two. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Mornings where oh, yeah. you wake up, you're like, where the heck am I? <laughs> it took me a few seconds, but then the realization came to me and it was quite the tragedy. <laughs> I think I'm good. Some of us woke up feeling more refreshed than others, yet collectively ready to take on the next leg of our bikepacking journey. We said goodbye to the cozy yard as we ventured forth. The journey had only just begun, but the first night in Redwood Meadows had set the tone. Bye, home. Day number two. Here we go. Buenos dias, big mountain riders. It's our second day of torture. Torture. No. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's a beautiful morning. And we're starting our second day of the Sequoia National Forest Adventure. But I think we might run into a little trouble today, right? I don't know, we'll see. There might be a road that's a bit washed out. We're gonna explore and make the best of what we can. It'll be an adventure at the end of the day. For sure. <laughs> well, are you excited for day two? I am. Are you excited for day two? So we've got another day of about 50 miles, probably about 8,000 feet again today, give or take. Should be a good mix of gravel and pavement. We're gonna see some sequoias, some big old sequoias, hopefully. Woo! Come along for the adventure. The higher up we climb, the more everything is coming to life. It's so nice, isn't it? Certainly. <laughs> We've done about 1,200 feet of climbing, and we have another 450 feet to the top of this climb, and then we get our main descent of the day. Having a little rest stop for water and snacks. And if all goes well, we'll be 12 miles from water. We've made it to the top of the climb. Now we have our first big descent of the day. Yay! I could do these gravel roads every day. They're so smooth and fast. Woo! Last time we rode here, I couldn't see a thing because it was so foggy and cold. What's the matter, babe? Uh, I'm struggling. My hands hurt. Uh, I can't feel my hands. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Look at this. It is all foggy. We're in the cloud, babe. Oh okay, you guys, I'm starting to have sensation again. Today is a completely different ride. It's beautiful. And we're with a friend today. Yay! <laughs> You might be able to make it on the mountain bike. Get out of his way. Mm. This breaks. No road, no problem. Quick stop here to have some scandies. What are you having? Same? Fake scandies. Fake scandies. Mm. My favorite one is probably the red one. As we crested the first summit, we were rewarded with stunning views and a sense of accomplishment. There were a series of rolling hills providing brief moments of rest before our next major gravel climb. We are about to enter a patch of sequoias, a beautiful garden of huge sequoias. I don't actually remember how big they are or how 
mini, but you're really playing we'll it you. up. <laughs> it doesn't look like a climb, but this is a climb to the Garden of Sequoias. Are you ready to climb? We were just climbing <laughs> these past two hours. <laughs> you're like, this is the climb. This has been the climb. <laughs> Stay tuned because the climb is about to show up. <laughs> Probably spent a little too much time taking photos, videos, flying the drone around, but it was worth it. What do we have ahead of us, Joe? We have a little descent coming up here now. I think we're descending into Camp Nelson. And then after that, we have a big, long paved climb. Ooh, this descent is pretty nice. It's a little bumpy in sections, but not too bad. Completely rideable and having the extra weight on the back kind of helps with those bumps. I don't know how long the descent is, but I'm enjoying it right now. I think after this, we're gonna find a store, get some water and snacks, hopefully some dinner too for tonight. Yeah. How much was that descent? Let me see. We were about even. So it's about 1,300, 1,400 feet, something like that. Dropped my freaking phone. Fell out of my pocket at some point. I don't know where. It could be at the very top of the climb. Hopefully, it's not at the very top. Life's hard out here. Life's not a gem 100% of the time. Sometimes life is a piece of turd. <laughs> and that's what it's like right now. As we all started climbing back up the road in search of my phone, my heart sank when I saw that big white truck thundering down the road thinking, you know what? This truck probably just went over my phone and completely destroyed it. So we are heading back up this climb to try and find the phone. I went up ahead because I'm gonna try and get to the, the top and see if it's up there. They're doing a really careful scan of the sides. But I was able to at least find my sandal, which I didn't even realize had fallen out. So at least coming back up here is not for nothing. So hopefully we do find a phone. But I gotta get back to searching. As a kid, I really loved I Spy books. They're always so colorful and neat and imaginative. And recently I saw how they put them together, all the sets, how they do the photography. It's really neat. But I gotta say, even as a kid, I don't really believe I learned much from them. They weren't too useful, they were just fun. But today, I think I realized what they're good for. Do you see an iPhone? I don't see an iPhone. But maybe I will. And that's the fun of it all. But I'm not the one that lost the phone, so maybe it wouldn't be so fun for Hama. But I'm okay. Whew. Well, found the phone. Unfortunately, it's a little cracked up. There is a little clear uh, glass case on this, so we'll take that off and see how the actual screen is. I don't know. It looks pretty bad, but I think once we peel this off, there might be a chance that it's saved, but we'll see. So now I'm going to head back down and rejoin them. I didn't record it, but I went back down 
to Hema and then found out that she lost the Insta360 out of that pocket as well. So now I'm going back up. She's coming back up too and doing a search as well. But hey, 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 up and down and up and down. Whew. Well, I climbed basically back up to the top. Sequoias are right there. And we found it. Oh. At least we found both. This thing looks like it's in good shape. The phone, who knows about the cracked screen, but um, hopefully it's just that sort of protector screen on it and not the actual phone screen. All right, time to go back down. Oh my God. <sighs> when Joe came back with the news that he had found the items I had lost, I couldn't help it and I broke down. I felt this mix of emotions from relief that we hadn't lost all that footage we created on the first day and a half of the trip, but I also felt so guilty to have put our team through this huge setback and having to add all these extra miles to an already long and challenging ride. So it was a lot for me to take in, but the guys were super encouraging and they made me feel better about this whole situation. It's okay, babe. We got it. <laughs> we're good. Just hopefully your phone screen is not cracked, but... Oh, I know. With the setbacks behind us, we got back on the saddles and pressed on to our next destination for the day. We are climbing up into Camp Nelson and only a few hundred feet more climbing. And I think there should be a store here, hopefully. If not, we might be in a little bit of trouble. But I think there's a general store. I saw it on Google Maps. Hopefully it's open. It exists. You wanna put a banana in your tortilla? With peanut butter. With peanut butter. <laughs> Whoa, well, that's a crazy it. amount of peanut butter. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good? How yeah. was the descent? The descent was so good, so nice, I had to do it twice. <laughs> are you eating anything else right now? Yeah, probably eat everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything. Everything in sight. Yeah, I brought way too much food. Is that look good to you? <laughs> it looks good to me, that's why I brought it. That's why I brought so much of it. Oh, that looks like caca. <laughs> This looks more like caca, actually. <laughs> Are you looking forward to our next yurt? Our next yurt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Considering how good yesterday's was, I'm pretty hopeful. Yeah. It was a great year. Good yeah. time. It was awesome. Yeah, if they've got even nicer restrooms, yeah. that would really be the cherry on top. If they had water. They do. Mm -hmm. this one. They're supposed to have water at this yurt. Amazing. Supposedly. Cheers to that. Now we climb to the campsite, which is the Quaking Aspen um, campsite. And that's at about, I think, 7,000 feet. So right now, I think we're somewhere around 4,600. I'm getting burpy <laughs> from my ginger ale. We are done eating and resting. Now we're gonna head in that direction. Well, that's where we're heading. The troops are not excited. Not like 2,000 feet of climbing, 2,500, something like that. What's up, y'all? They gave me a mic. Uh-oh. Who let them think that was a good idea? Anyway, let me give you the tea on this. It literally feels like I'm in some tea right now. It is hot. I'm sweaty. I'm salty. I don't know how much tea gets salty, but if there is a salty tea, it should be called Brandon, because <laughs> that's me. Oh gosh. So on a scale of one to 10, how much are you regretting coming with us on this adventure? Uh, how many miles are we at? I'm at 31.6, so 31.6 out of 10. I regret coming here. And on a scale of one to 10, how enjoyable has this trip been? Well, let's see, it's 
probably like 95 degrees right now. So yeah, yeah probably I, like 95 out of 10. I got 92 on my my hammerhead here. So you're off by three degrees. I oh, think you need to be recalibrated. I failed the test. <laughs> Have a you retake. failed your calibration. Mr. Substitute, can I have a retake, please? Yes, now you have to do the whole ride again. Oh, darn. <laughs> I would feel like that's good extra credit, but <laughs> it feels kind of like in The Simpsons in the beginning when you're writing out your sentences over and over and over again. I feel like a couch gag. That's what this ride is. <laughs> Strava name, couch gag. Strava name, I'm never getting off the couch again. <laughs> Yeah, so I was joking with them earlier this morning. I was like, are you guys just gonna like pull some shit on me and then like, oh, surprise, Life's a Gym now has a prank channel spinoff and you're <laughs> the subject of the first <laughs> line of Bachman torture. <laughs> I asked him how he knew, but Hema didn't admit anything, he didn't admit anything, so. It's our second day of torture, torture. Torture. You know, if we go faster, we'd have more breeze and then it'll feel cooler. Wait, you're telling me you're trying to help us have a good time here? Yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I thought you guys were just sadistic. I mean, that too, but it's a side matter. Is this the part of the video where I list out the amounts and details of submission for the ransom money? <laughs> And I came here. That comes a little bit later. We're getting there though. <laughs> I came here because they promised me a free bunt pan. <laughs> I've yet to see a bunt pan, nor a bunt. You know, if you're watching me, want the cats. <laughs> <laughs> Not the cats. <laughs> They're too fat to be worth anything. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, take them, please. <laughs> We've been trying to get rid of them. <laughs> this is the part where you have to cross to the plank. Oh, we didn't really fill you guys in, did we? So we go to the general store. And the lady there, very, very kind, very helpful. But she told us that we had to walk the plank to make it up the road. Do you know the, the condition of the road? Guys, I don't think you it's, can. There's a plank that you have to, you have to. Oh. There is a section up here that's gonna be washed out. There's already stuff that's a little washed out down here. But there's gonna be a big old walked out section and we have to walk the plank to see if we can make it to the top or not. Oh, hey, it's an oven. We should have kept some of the bread because then we could just go and ride to the top and it would be fully baked. Nice and warm. Oh, maybe our linguine will cook on the way up. We could have just put it in a pot with some water. By the end of this, I'll be the linguine. <laughs> This heat and I are not getting along today. The boys have left me behind. Reunited with the boys. I am melting. I am melting. I stopped here in the shade, but Joe wants us to keep going and I don't want to. I love the way my body's moving to the beat. I love the way. I thought it was going to be so much worse than it is. It's not bad at all. Look. Okay, water slide, bro. <laughs> water slide. <laughs> Check it out. I just wet my sleeves, my shoulders, my bandana, and my hat in that little stream over there. You salty, bruh. You super salty. Look at all that. It's like a war shark painting. <laughs> we are a mile from the campsite. That sounds beautiful. But we still have to climb like 400 feet, give or take. I think we've made it to our campsite. I'm so happy, I want to cry. Oh, yes. Here we are. Yay! Number eight, baby. Here it is. Woo! I'm going straight to bed. Woo! 
shirt number two is looking pretty amazing just as nice as yurt number one we've got the futon we've got the table we've got the bunk bed but there's no chair that's okay another day another yurt and another bowl of noodles Ooh, buddy. <laughs> we just showered too behind a rock <laughs> this is great i feel so fresh how is it babe <laughs> yummy yummy it is really yummy mm -hmm. as the sun set over quake and aspen we gather to savor snacks stories and starlit skies with one more day of adventure ahead we all cherish this moment of rest and recharged for our final sequoia bikepacking day if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and share. And if you don't want to miss our last episode of our bikepacking trip, make sure you to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.